hello fellow lady trans lovies i am your girl fellow lady bringing you the hottest news so you know what to do please do not forget to subscribe hit the like button and also leave a comment below so and Bali finally speaks out after a couple of months that there were rumors that um she and her husband double coffee are going through divorce she finally admits publicly that it's been a very tough year for her and her marriage she posted a video on her instagram page she said um she all she's asking for is peace and silence for her uh, not for anyone else for the sake of her kids she asked uh, she's asking all the journalists not to contact him she also states that it's been the longest years of her life playing to be a supportive good wife to her husband wow guys this is really deep i wish she stays strong and focused here is the video coming up please do not forget to subscribe i'm out till next time love you Good morning. I woke up this morning to an article. Um, I have been called by journalists a lot lately and I've stuck to my no comment and it works for me. But I woke up today to something that was extremely personal that I had handed over to the court that has now made it to the papers. The situation that is happening right now in my life is indeed happening but I would also just like a bit of space um, with regards to questions and so forth I do believe that the system will do what is due and what is fair I do believe in every way that the South African system is a fair one and our justice system has been built around creating fair decisions for those who can't make amicable decisions. It has been a very long couple of years for me and in all of that all I ask is for silence. Not for me or anyone else but for my children. Everything I have done till this day is to protect my children. All I've ever tried to do must be a great wife, a supportive wife, one that is respectful, not only to my partner and everyone who is around him. I have now in me a fight that I have never understood, but I understand why it was placed in me in this point of my life. It has been a very, very, very rough year. But I still stand tall and proud. It is indeed a situation no one wants to see themselves in. But here we are. I just, on waking up today, remembered this by Chimama Mandengozi. We teach our girls to shrink themselves, to make themselves smaller. We say, girls, you can be ambitious, but not too much. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you will threaten the man. Because I am female, I'm expected to aspire to marriage. I'm expected to make my life choices always keeping in mind that marriage is the most important now marriage can be a source of joy and love and mutual support but why do we teach our girls to aspire to marriage as we don't teach our boys the same we raise our girls to see each other as competition <laughs> not for jobs or accomplishments, which I think could be a good things. But we teach our girls to compete against each other for the attention of men. This, I know, is a narrative for a lot of women. And I stand today and fight. Thank you.